paranormal just got haunted. Where are you? We've had stuff going on. What in God's name was that? Tonight we head to Liverpool and investigate the War Hospital. Being stood here for over 100 years, many people have passed through its doors. But sadly, some of those people have never left. This former military hospital is now used as offices. It survived the blitz and the bombings of Liverpool and is now home to some ghostly residents. There are various rooms and corridors, including two stairwells and they all seem to have their own ghostly stories to tell. Staff have reported doors opening and closing on their own. Strange voices seemingly come from nowhere. Knocks and bangs as if somebody is jumping on the floors are commonly heard, and some staff members refuse to venture into the building during the night on their own for fear of encountering something paranormal. But the question is, who is haunting here? Is it workers from World War II? Is it patients that lost their lives here? Or is there something else unexplained that's going on? Ghost Dimension will head in tonight using our latest paranormal investigative equipment and try to make contact. We're in here. Now, one of the first things we've done in here, yeah, okay, is set uh, down this corridor. What I wanted to cover was this shadow figures that have been seen walking up and down. So, right at the bottom of the corridor, we've set up a laser and it's going all the way over to here. So it's covered about 20 meters, okay? Now, if anything breaks that beam or walks down there, and you can probably see it glittering there in the, uh, in the beam, the actual... Uh, it does look pretty, though. It does look it? good. <laughs> but if anything breaks that, we're going to capture that on camera, yeah. okay? Now, we've had hit a, hits and misses with that uh, laser trigger, and when it happens, it's fantastic. When it doesn't happen, it's a little bit disappointing, but... The noise, I think the noise is the thing that gets me the most because it's like a kettle and you know something's there. So it'll be interesting to see if that goes off. What else? What I wanted to do as well is get a REM, mm -hmm. okay? Because we're in a, a former hospital, I wanted to get a REM out, okay? So I've got this REM here, which is a music box. We'll get that out, we're going to place that down, okay? That'll settle. Okay, now if anything comes near it, mm -hmm. in a second, that'll go off right. and then we'll capture it, okay? Yeah. But let's just make sure that's not picking up on anything else. It doesn't really want to go off. Here we go, see if we can settle it. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll, we'll leave that, it should settle. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was about to say, with this piece of equipment, it doesn't really go off. No, but what we'll do, because it's not... It's not settling at all. There we go, there we go. There we go. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe we're, we're in the presence of something. Okay, it stopped. It stopped. And the last piece I wanted to get out of here was this, okay? Yeah. Um, we're also going to put a temperature sensor out in a bit. Yes. This is a magnetic field sensor. Mm -hmm. Okay. We get... Okay. <laughs> we're just going to hit on the rem. Yeah. Okay, now let's call and ask as well. Do you know what I want to do as well? Oh, yeah. oh my god, this is going off! What's going uh, off? Thankfully, I was filming it because I was going to do a long shot. Um, 
I want to do the singing bowl at some point down here. Oh, oh. Yeah, can you hear it? Laser. And a reading straight on the EM. Yeah, that was that was the reading of the EM sensor down here. What was the laugh? Don't know what the laugh was. Oh my god, that's amazing. To trigger the laser, something had to break its beam, and it did. But to further compound the fact that it could be paranormal, the EM sensor also alerted. Both of these devices monitor different environments, and to top it off, we could hear an audible laugh. Down here. Oh, oh. Yeah, can you hear it? Laser. And a reading straight on the EM. This was only the start of the investigation, and instantly it was proven to be a highly successful one. And we couldn't wait to see what else we would capture. My Whoa, God. okay. I'm just gonna put that there so that we can is get solid, it all in for you. That's pretty solid. Yeah. Is there this it could be just re remove any Oh oh I don't know if it all oh, was to do with that that's oh. that's too that's too settled. There's definitely an EM reading on the floor backs of a fluctuation. Okay. Let's just put that here. That's that's detecting an EM field, so that was affecting the K2 meter because it was stayed on solid. Okay, but it doesn't explain why the laser beam went off. No. And also the sing the um, jewelry box. Yeah. Now, if there is a field affecting anything of the equipment, then the EM uh, field detector here will now be sensing that. And if it fluctuates and goes off, there's definitely something here, okay? Because it will settle and now takes its readings and its monitors, so it shouldn't be anything. If there's anybody here that has been around us, is communicating with us using our equipment, can you use your voice and communicate with us verbally. Listen. I have feet. Feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like shuffle, shuffle. That was coming. Okay. Can you walk down this corridor? Walk towards us. We're not here to disrespect you. Come close. Singapore. It's weird how it all went off and now it's not. We're being watched. We're being watched by something intelligent. Are you connected to the hospital? Were you a nurse here? Or a doctor um, during the World War II hospital? Well, whilst it was a, a, a hospital. It was a temporary hospital during the World War II. Weirdly quiet. I'm going to do the singing bowl. Do the singing bowl because if we've got the singing bowl going, we should be able to capture. Uh -huh. That was a door. I heard it, I heard it, but it came from down there. There was a strange silence in the air and you could feel something brewing in the atmosphere and then boom, a door sound. If we've got the singing bowl going, we should be able to capture. Uh -huh. That was a door. We had no idea what was causing the noise or which door it was, but we were determined to find out. Should we do it down here, the singing bell? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you hear a scream? A scream? I keep hearing a scream. Hello? Is that you screaming? What the hell was that? What? There was a, like a, an audible voice. Total chair. It said something and it came from down this particular area. Just go through the singing bowl, let's see what happens. Stop. 
It's down there. I can hear it. It's Laser, there. laser. laser. Are you walking down the corridor? Oh my god. Now I can see lots of glistening on there, so you can't particularly see if there's a break, but there's something that's breaking that beam. Oh my god. It's getting louder and louder and louder, isn't it? I'm just gonna. Because now that's broken, that's gonna alert us. Oh my god, the slide's gotten closer. That wasn't me, look. You give that is pretty crazy. And then I said, because we're capturing something here on the beam twice now in quick yeah. succession. Do the singing ball, Lena. That's that might that have been me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you right, ready? I'll keep an eye down there, and you do the singing ball. You ready? If there's anybody here that's communicating with us, can you give us a name, an indication of your name? Tell us your name because we know you're here. We can hear your voices, but we can't hear it clearly enough to identify. Something just moved on the camera. Now, I would have said that was dust or an orb, but I'm telling you, it was here by the REM. Okay, bearing in mind the REM's been going off. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it swirled and went off into this direction over here. That's what I had before. I'm just going to put this yeah. back. That's what I had before when the machine was going off, when all the monitors were going off. Do you know what? We need to get the vibration sensor out. Yes. Oh, oh my God, it's gone off again. Laser again. <laughs> okay, that's us. Okay, I'm going to put the vibration here. Okay. As the laser beam's going off, we've got a vibration sensor, so if anything's walking, we're gonna, hopefully, well, it's too solid, maybe, but hopefully we'll capture it. Right. I mean, tap on it. They can tap on it, right? Mm. If, they, if they're doing all of this, they can tap on it. Is we get touched or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to break the beam now. Right you now. stand that side, I'll stand this side. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Like so none the of beam's us... here somewhere, don't you? I can see the beam. Okay. The beam goes all across there. You can't see it right now, but you will in a minute. Hopefully. Were you injured? Stood it again? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going. I can saw some... Later on the beam, but that'll be the dust. Were you injured? Oh, oh it's walking. Whistle behind you, babe. Whistle. Yes. There was a whistle. Something or someone was well aware of our presence, and it seemed to be moving up and down the corridor as the laser trigger kept alerting. And then, as we asked questions to the spirit, it whistled back. Done it again? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going. I can saw some later on the beam, but that'll be the dust. Were you injured? Oh, it's walking. Whistle behind you, babe. Whistle. Yes. There was a whistle. Whistles seem to be common in the paranormal and perhaps the first sign of audible communication. But was this entity connected to the building? Who were they? And were they here when this place was a hospital? Can something's, you... something's moving around here, you know. I'm going to come up here a minute. You scared? No, it's just I can't see it at all. Can you walk away from this beam that we've got? This is great that you're doing it. I know what I'm going to do. Mm. Let's divert their attention. Okay. We've got loads of equipment. Something's just touched my camera. No. Something tapped my camera. Whereabouts? I don't know, Brian. This is incredible so far. Let's, I'm going to sw you switch the laser off. I'm going to divert their attention to the different bits of equipment. Okay? And what I want to do is I want to get the vibration sensor on something else. Okay. Why don't we switch this off now for me? Why don't we switch it off? Will you help me? Why don't we switch it off? 
Okay. That's good, we're not for good. No, just switch it off. The ramp. I've got it. I can't find the switch off. Huh? Okay. So the ram is going off again. Ram is going off. Oh. Look, 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 look. Oh, yeah. No way, did you hear that voice? No. But I'm hearing voices all the way down there. There was a voice, and it sort of, it was sort of like an older style voice, and it said something like medication. This voice was so clear, and on replay, it sounds like the spoken word medication. No way! Did you hear that voice? No. But I'm hearing voices all the way down there. There was a voice. After our earlier whistle that we'd received, it would appear that we were now in direct contact with an active spirit at the location, and it used the word medication. Did that tie into the fact that this building was used as a hospital during the war? We must have got it on camera, I'm telling you, because it came from over there. I'm surprised we didn't capture anything on the meter there because it was, well, that's a vibration meter, but I'm surprised we didn't get it. What was that? What? What did you hear? Like um, a whistle. Yes, that's what I keep hearing, but it sounds almost like a, a like a dulled scream. So we're getting the voices and we're getting the whistles. Are you in pain? Bang. I heard that bang. bang. Bang, bang. Are you in pain? And you scream. What was that? Bang. Yeah. Bang. But footsteps and you're going down there. I'm thinking that we'll head in to the corridor and up the stairs because I'm hearing tippity taps. I think of we footsteps. should do. Follow the sound, don't you? Yeah. Let's poke our cameras around before we take any equipment. Mm -hmm. See if we hear anything. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I think that now, was a definite I yes. Want I want to debunk this. Look, if that was me. Make sure. If that was me, yeah, that would be alarming. I have to get her close. Look, really close. To a, really close to alarming. I'm hearing things again, down there. Uh, do you know what I think we should do? Basically, just get the equipment and just go straight over. Come on then. Let's grab it all and go straight over because there's something. What the hell? That's calling us down there. Oh, hang about, Vex. That was IR. Let's get, just get down there. There were noises that started to come from further in the building. The spirits seemed to be highly active and with so much more to explore, we head into the conference room to see what else we could encounter as the investigation continues. Right, so we've literally come upstairs. Okay, Vex has got a K2. K2 I know. And it is going off already. Okay, there was no end. Oh my god, we've not even explained what equipment we've got. But we've got our pressure sensor, which never seems to fail. We've got a REM pod right in the middle of the floor in here, and also a temperature sensor. Now, if the temperature changes or fluctuates in the temperature, that will alert us if it goes colder or hotter by colours. And the reason we've done that is in this room, people are seeing lots of strange things with their eyes and they're hearing things. So yeah. we thought if we've got the REM, people, if everything's moving, I heard that. That was on you. That was on you. What, what was it? Something tapped you. Yeah, there's something going on. K2's just flashed as well. I'm just trying to get into that K2. But the temperature will change, find any changes in anything that's uh, going to affect any of the temperature in this room. Because it shouldn't. It's a constant temperature in here. It's 23, actually. I don't know why we've got our coats on. But that <laughs> is going mad. OK? And pressure sensor. It's believed if anything comes near that, it can affect the atmosphere. Yeah, there shouldn't be anything. Okay, 
So if you come towards the temperature sensor, we will detect that if you change the temperature in the room. The pressure, if you go towards it, will change. Or the REM, just go near it, emits a bubble of electronic magnetic field. Okay, if you go near that and break it, we'll hear you. Can you set the K2 off, please? Oh my God. I don't even think I've got it. There we go. Oops. Did you used to work here? Are you shy? You're a bit shy of talking to us. Oh, that came from the stairwell. I heard that. Should we just quickly check? Yeah. Okay. So just out here, we're in a, the second floor. Something. Have you got your equipment? Oh my God, it's pitch black, but something. Came here. And it sounded like there. Right. What was that noise? K2 is going off. The K2 and the noise. Are you here with us? Something was making a banging noise and it was outside of the room. There was energy all over the place and we needed to pinpoint its location. It was super quick to move. You're a bit shy of talking to us. Oh, that came from the stairwell. I heard that. Should we just quickly check? This was like amazing to capture and with the K2 meter flashing as well, this meant that the entity was close by. But what more are we about to encounter? You following us? Are you walking up the steps? Babe, no way. You can hear it. You can actually hear the sound of something. The K2 is going crazy. What the hell? I couldn't believe that we actually captured the footsteps on the stairs. What's more intriguing is the stairs were some sort of plastic, so you could actually hear the footsteps walking over it. Are you walking up the steps? Babe, no way. You can hear it. You can actually hear the sound of something. The K2 is going crazy. This was incredible and was in very close proximity. But who was it and what did they want? Can you do... We were going to say at the That's same time. weird. Can you do that again? That's really weird that somebody's moving behind me. These leaves, let me see if the leaves are moving. Oh, you can hear something. I'm hoping we got that. It was like a low movement. Who's going again, babe? Can you push the leaves behind backs? Tap to tap to tap to tap. Did you hear that? Listen, I'm just going to open this door because I think the equipment went off. Is there anybody in that room? Yeah, 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 in here, in here, in here, in here. Did you clear your throat? Are you trying to talk to us? Let's go down. You're kidding and crap out of me. What? That door... Just moved. Just moved. Does it even open? If it wasn't, it was the handle. <gasps> what is that noise? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That what? was somebody coming close to you, that was. The energy in here was immense. We just caught tapping noises and bangs on audio. And then I believed I saw the door moved. And as I opened it, a strange static sound of energy was caught. 
If it wasn't, it was the handle. <gasps> what is that noise? Whoa, whoa, whoa. To me, this sounds like an energy discharge. Perhaps I'd literally just opened the door and within seconds, um, this was the spirit's energy that dissipated that we could hear. I've never heard anything like this during all the investigations I've ever done before. That was something in this room manifesting. I'm telling you now. What was it, Dr. Dewey? Like a... Shh. Yeah. If that was you... Can you do it again? Well, knock on that door. I hope they open it. Don't be scared of the opening. Knock on that door in five. Do you hear that? Tap, tap. Very tap. faint. Four. It was faint. Three. Oh, I heard something. Oh, okay. All right, we heard you. Tap. Yeah. That was tap. But that was on that door. Right, I'm the... going to stand over there. You stand okay, there. Okay, yeah. You knock on that door. Okay. Whatever. You ready? Yeah. No. Ready? Yeah. I'm going to tap. Oh, right behind me. You hear? Watch. Not back. Oh my God, that literally. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Yeah, 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 yeah. But was that? Do you know what, right? I'm going to try and debunk this because they have had leaks, but they've not had anything because it's not raining. But I don't think that was a leak. I'm just going to watch now. Just in case it was, but that wasn't the tap. That we've heard. Is there anybody out there? Can you come forward in five? No way. As I'm putting out there then. Scratches. Scratches. Oh my god, it's going mad. Could it be because it's by this though? Mm -hmm. No. That was in was that that was in time then with the scratches, babe? It was, yeah. Okay, let's just zoom do in again, onto do that. Do it again, do it again. Okay. Go, go, count one, two out there. Okay, ready? Five one, five, five, four, three. Two. I heard something. Mm, like faint, 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 faint. Oh, hello. Hello. Come here, quick. <coughs> oh, I'm getting a pain in my head. Really? Yeah, just right here, like, um, like somebody who's banged on the head. Um, maybe that's like an impression or something, isn't it? Whoa. Yeah. There's something weird going on. Let me just poke this down here. It's pitch black, but... If there's somebody down here, make a noise. In five, four, three... Oh, babe, 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 babe. Is that a shadow of us? Yeah. Two, one. Or walk in front of this camera. Oh my god, come on. We need to see you. We need proof of the shadow figures people are seeing. Are you a nurse? Do you walk these corridors? Helping people? Listen. Can you show us that you're here? Can you tap? Are you down there? There's a shadow. And it's tapping where you've seen a shadow wave. I'm, 
And can you see I, that? Is that where the tapping's coming from? No, not on the camera. Can you move again so I can see you? Something moves. What's that look? No. <gasps> hiss, baby. Oh, hiss. You hear the hiss? Something is beyond those doors, babe. Do you want to quickly go down? Do you want it? Yeah. Let's go down. Ready? Mm -hmm. Should we go back on the stairs where we got quite a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just have a little look. Because there's something f like following us around and it's like trying to tease us. And I feel like there's a particular area we're going to be drawn to mm. where we shouldn't be. And do you know what I also feel? Sick. Do you? I feel sick. I think we're getting pushed in here. Into like... I'm feeling like it was a chest condition here, like, like yeah, right there. I thought oh, that's something. Is that you? Are you imprinting on us? Showing us? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was weird. That was a weird noise. We could hear the noises and tapping sounds that were consistent throughout the investigation, and then we caught the following sound that sounded like an unearthly groan. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was weird. That was a weird noise. Perhaps this was the entity trying to speak and tell us something. Were they in pain or still living in the days of World War II? Was this the sound of them screaming back in the days when the location was used as a hospital? There was definitely an audible noise. Let's go back down there, okay? Because it's making me feel sick here, okay? What? What? It's just like it makes you feel like so uh, dizzying, it's taking away your energy. Something's trying to communicate with us, but it's sapping energy. I don't know if you're feeling the same, but it's sapping energy away. And then there's a noise again. There's a female voice down there. Let's just do it. This is taking away energy. And I feel like it's all around. Let's go in. Are you in here? The, the one that's been taking the energy. I know you're trying to be secretive, but we're not hearing. What did you hear? We knocked. Right behind me. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to get the energy from us, but you need to reveal yourself because we need to know who you are. I don't think you're a nurse, were you? You were some, you're somebody else here. Somebody's like watching over here and watching her like, I'm not going to communicate to you. And they're being Somebody's secretive. Very stubborn. Stubborn and secretive. Mm. The hospital was proving to be one active location, with noises coming from all over the building, and with one more reportedly active area to explore, we set off to the training room, 
to continue our investigation and it wasn't long before we engaged in paranormal activity once again. Right, we're literally trying to roll and K2 is going at bonkers. Somebody's definitely sitting on that desk. Yeah. I'm going to turn the lights off. Turn the lights off and let's see what we get, okay? But thank you. I've never seen it. It's lighting up like a like a little Christmas, Christmas tree. tree. <laughs> let's just see if we can baseline that off. We just did that. Yeah, okay. Now, what we've got set up on each table is all of the equipment, basically. We're, we're, we're getting it all out to see if it'll all go off. Uh, this has already gone off. There's a few bits that have been going off while we've been setting up. So Some let's, precious then set up. Yeah, let's hope it all goes off. There, there's even stuff over here on oh, the yeah. island cabinet. We've got that. That's on, yeah? Yeah, everything's I on. I think I've just knocked it off. I'll set that back on. Yep, that's on. OK. They're all on. Okay, pressure, te temperature's on. We're gonna, oh yeah, I can see the light. Oh my God. Are we already? That's setting, that's okay. So this this was a ward, okay? This was a like a hospital ward, mm. okay? And so people that were injured, that were sick, that were here. The smells have been reported in here of different medical things. Mm. And also... Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Let's do it back. So I was going to say this knocking. Knock, knock. Oh, but down the back. Jeez, look Walking. Please. This room was so active and the knocks that we just caught were super loud. And we actually managed to capture them on camera. Also, I was going to say this knocking. Knock, knock. Oh, but down the back. Jeez, look Walking. Please. It happened straight after we'd spoken about the hospital. And to me, this was like a spirit confirming um, what we were talking about was correct, which was related to the building's use during the war. Are you, are you in this room with myself and Bex? I'm just going to knock that. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Something over here tried to go off then. That was the REM on the table in front of you. Are you here with me? Can you... Scratching. Are you the one making the scratching noises we can hear? Yeah, just keep an eye on everything. If you're here, and are attached to this building, and you don't like what's going on and the changes, it's okay, you can communicate to myself and Bex just by communicating on one of these devices that we've got laid out in front of us, or laid out in front of us. If you go towards any of them, like we explained off camera, they will go off. They'll sense your presence. They're only here as communication tools for you. K2, on the table. All right, I'm gonna zoom into that. What? Over there. All right, well, hopefully I'm gonna it. capture it. Yeah. I'm gonna go over, actually. Okay, that was great, okay, whoops. I'm not, let me just manually focus in. Did you just do the rap of the rap on the mm -hmm. table? Did you just tap on the table? Thank you for coming towards this particular device. Oh, I'm so was glad. Was this your bed? Or did you used to care for somebody over in this direction? Can you touch that device for us one more time? <coughs> Please just... Yes! Thank you! On command, you're amazing! Is Bex right? You cared for somebody? Is that what it was? You cared for somebody? Maybe not. But did you tap on the table? <gasps> this just took my breath away. What happened? Somebody just moaned. Right behind me. Is that what that noise was? Like a there. Yeah. <gasps> I can't believe we've just got that activity yeah, as well. I wish you could see me. Goosebumps. Let's have a look. Maybe we can. I can't. But, can't yeah. That was weird. This actually did take my breath away and it came from behind me. Listening back to the voice, it sounded like I'm home. Maybe not. But did you tap on the table? 
just took my breath away. What happened? Somebody just moaned. Was this the same entity that was affecting our equipment? And did they work here? Or did they treat it like home? We can only speculate. But what was clear, it was heart-wrenching to hear. Do you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. Just to see if, just to see if I can hear that noise again. I'm just going to sit closer to the sound. I really am, because that was... <gasps> like somebody was in pain. Here. Katie's going right there, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just... I lost it then. But uh, it was going mental then. Oh, it is again. Call out. Hold on a minute. Because I want to get this in focus. I'm trying to... That's the pressure sensor. Do you... Are you in the bed beside me? Oh my god. Can you make that noise again? Do that again for me. That's two pieces of equipment that's gone off. Oh, we're missing it. We're missing it, man. I'm just gonna get it again. Can you can you set that off again? Just thank you. Thank you so much. Can you take that to red just so we know you're strong? And all you got to do to take it to red is just grab it with all the might that you can, if you can. What the hell was that? Like a roof. And the K2 is still going crazy. I feel really weak. It's the same feeling that I had before. I've got a pain right there. This is what I had before. And your feet and you know what it is? Because you know, the K2, I'm just going to move this K2 because this is going off. Hold that K2. Do you know, like, if you've got a friend with you wears glasses, if you don't wear them and your eyes get tired and you get that pain in your head, it's that. Yeah. It's the same feeling. Really tired. That's what I had in the hall. Somebody is, like, trying to put their impression over I almost it. feel like I can't get up, you know, like, just no energy to get up. Stay there, then. Just gonna try something as well. You stay there, relax. Is that K2? Just... Oh my god. Oh my god, did you feel a draft as well? Yeah, there was that a movement. Just came past me and you. Yeah, I thought I saw the K2 over there go off. But then the draft caused something to go off over there. I think you should. I've got this feeling that you need to be over there. Yeah, just go over there. You're running down here. Something. Ooh. No way. Please tell me you had the camera. Well, I had it rolling on you, yet. Yeah. Something's just pushed me. I will have to watch it back, but I'm sure I saw it. And your K2's going mad as well. Is if, it? If you lift it up, yeah, it's, it's going to red. It's Whoa, going to red. This is a really strange room, there. This is. There's something strange. in here. This is active spiritual energy that is around us. Although we're not getting who they are. The devil. Oh, my God. The K2 there is going off. Oh, yeah? Okay, we're capturing it. Your K2 is going off at Mine's the same time. You know, oh, my, see if you can get yours on camera quick. Okay. Oh, my God. Take them to red. Take them both to red. Oh, my God. Thank you. Take them both to red if you can. Oh, I can see yours from my side, and I can see it, and the one I'm zoomed in on now. Right here. Oh, thank you so much. You worked here, didn't you? You were just working here. Oh, wait, did you get a reading? Mm -hmm. And it, this is your place of work. And you enjoyed it? Did you enjoy it here? Why did you push me? Oh, well, that wasn't you. Okay. Somebody else. Somebody moving you out of the way. Somebody moving me. Yes. Do you know what's great here? Yeah. DK2. Oh, my God, that just went to red and I just trying to go out and glimpse it. But something intelligent is in here. And it's... it. Somebody's just said Mike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mike? Was your name Mike? Somebody's just said Mike. Was your name Mike? Just Michael? It's Mike. Mike, over there. Over the corner. I'm just getting this K2 in because that's going off. Michael? Was that you? No way! Yeah, but that might have been me because, yeah, yeah, that was me because I got pushed. 
I'm back as well, and my foot went back, but this K2's going off. It's all going mad in here. It's clear. The hospital is just as busy in the present day as it was during the war, and our investigation tonight uncovered multiple hauntings inside of the building. This is one location that didn't disappoint, and needs even further investigation into the future to delve even deeper into the ghostly activity.